night good morning guys here we are behind me another beautiful sunrise i'm here at the house getting just a little bit later start than i do normally but uh anyways a good frost good frost on this morning hopefully it's not a killing frost because i do got some stuff in the uh in the garden planted already but sun's just starting to peek over the trees there we're still still here at the house in the backyard and sitting there waiting for the windows to defrost and i had a few thoughts i'd get out here and open this video but fixing the head over there and get those traps checked uh, a couple of things have changed uh since yesterday and uh, one of those things is today's april the first and uh fur bear season in arkansas has come to a close it went out yesterday so uh, anything for me caught from this point on is uh i won't harvest fur from it um, it'll just be uh it will just be uh nuisance trapping or damage control for me if i get out and do any more uh another thing uh, i thought of is they're calling for rain to uh, again a pretty good chance of rain again tomorrow and with that being the case uh me waiting out there yesterday waist deep and them calling for rain again tomorrow uh, if i was to leave those traps there's a good chance I would have to have a boat to check them for a while uh, and that's just just a lot more work on my end so with trapping season going out with the rain coming tomorrow with with that being such a huge area and uh, not being able to pin, pinpoint those those beaver in that in that one spot I've got said I'm gonna go ahead and pull traps this morning uh, catches or not hopefully we got them both and want to worry about it I don't have to worry about getting back over there, but uh, if we don't have them caught, I'm gonna go ahead and pull them again too, and uh, just wait for the water to go back down. Only problem now is uh, with that lake just dropping, you know, four to six inches every night. It's gonna take a long time for it to get back, for it to get back down to normal pull. Uh, just had a crow chasing a. At least I'd have been turned around the other way. Had a crow come chasing a hawk up here. <laughs> Seems backwards to me. Maybe the hawk was chasing the crow and missed him. But anyway, one of them was chasing the other one. There's pride this morning. But uh, anyway, where was I at? Oh, gonna go ahead and pull traps and uh, and be done with that. Uh, I've got other priorities that need to need to outrank everything else right now i know you guys have heard this before but uh, probably gonna be the last trapping video for a while so I'll take that for what it is uh, i do believe i'm not gonna have much choice now at least for a little bit till i get some things going and get my routines figured out i'm, I'm gonna have to have to put it off for a little while at least uh, before i can get out and do any really nuisance or uh, damage control stuff but uh Anyway, guys, looks like that window's about about done there, and uh, I'm gonna hop in. Another thing I'm dreading this morning, <laughs> for sure, is those waders. I didn't take them inside and put them on the boot dryer yesterday, so those waders are gonna be cold whenever I get in them this morning. But hang tight, and I'll be back with you here in a little bit. All right, guys, over here now, and I just wanted to show you something. I've been coming in a little different, a different way, coming up here and parking on this dry road. I'm having to cross this fence right here. To get over here now this is a this is a property line it's a this over here is a different property than what this over here is so uh but but the reason i wanted to show you this is when i got here this fence has already bent down somebody else has already been crossing out here and uh and nowhere else down through here all the way back out to the main road this fence is up and is in good shape but right here at this post someone has bent this fence down and been stepping over it and that someone has been me the last couple of days so when i get finished today guys i will i will bend this fence back up and put it back in a position uh that it should be in i'm a firm believer in whenever you get to a place whether it's camping or just anything in life you get there when you leave make it a better place you know even though i didn't didn't bend this fence down and and didn't didn't leave it like that someone else did 
uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shun it and say it's not my responsibility it's not my job someone else can do it I'm gonna do it when I get finished I'll bend that fence back up and I'll, I'll make it look as if no one has ever been here to the best of my ability but anyway just a little little thing I thought of uh, I guess a little pet peeve that uh, I think a lot of people have forgotten and don't do anymore but we're gonna get out here instead of checking the uh, the uh, hut first I'm gonna go ahead and walk over here and check this drowning rod just because uh, I wasn't for sure if, if it made a catch I wasn't sure if it would uh, be drowned or not and of course it's been sitting here all night so does it really matter probably not these 15 20 minutes it's going to take me probably not going to make a difference but we're going to have to walk it anyway so might as well walk it first thing but boy man it sure is beautiful out here i thought it was cold yesterday it's really cold today but uh all right guys i'm gonna ease up here and uh hopefully this is the morning we've got those two beavers and we can we can write this one down in the books and not have to not have to get back over here but uh we'll see here in a minute all right getting over to it guys and i can kind of see over here see it is a walk across there and i don't see any kind of movement no ripples in the water we'll get up here and make sure yeah and there's no doubt to me guys that if i was to leave these traps here eventually i'm gonna make catches on them but i just don't like i said earlier i just don't have time to wait right now and too much going on all right i can see my trap's still here in the water it's still set but we're gonna we're gonna get down here and get it pulled this morning <coughs> get on down here and drop this off there at the fence as we go by and then I'll uh, check back in with you guys when we get over there to that hut oh, something else real quick guys I just noticed if you look on the bottom of these trees you'll see how much the water dropped last night so right there is the, the fall of this lake every night as long as we don't get another rain of course if we get a rain tomorrow it's going to pull it back up but uh and two something else i noticed that you guys that don't not in flooded timber much may not know but some of you may it's pretty neat a pretty neat thing to know i noticed it in some of the other videos and i don't see it this morning it may just be the way the lights hit and everything but in some of those other videos of this place you can see the high water mark you can see the highest point the water's got in here on these trees for some reason when that and i don't know what it is but when that water gets up it'll leave you'll just see the line on every one of the trees if you look out kind of kind of through the horizon on the trees you'll see that high water mark and that tells you tells you how high the water has been in here at some point in the past and it, and it leaves that mark so it's pretty neat but anyway huts on up here still a little ways guys i'm taking it slow so it's uh, gonna take me a minute i'll check back in with you whenever we get up there all right guys back up here i can see our sticks are uh, still sitting there on that 330 so uh not gonna have a chance there some ducks just flew over hopefully you guys can see them they're circling let's see if they drop down in here be real quiet a minute if you guys hadn't seen ducks cup up and fall down into a hole in the woods it's something to see no they must have spotted me they're not gonna they're not gonna do it I ought to bring the duck calls with me one day 
come out here. It used to be a passion of mine too, duck hunting, guys. I, I would be out in the timber like this right here every morning for years, every duck season. It was a huge passion. Matter of fact, trapping probably replaced that duck hunting passion that I had. Uh, I guess about, let's see, I guess it's probably been about eight or ten years ago. Well, maybe even longer now, maybe ten years ago. Yeah, probably closer to ten. But about ten years ago, they got to where here in Arkansas, public land turned into nothing but an aggravation for me. Duck hunting lost, lost its uh, enjoyment for me because all the public land was just so packed full of hunters. Uh, you would get aggravated every morning getting out there. Uh, just, you'd be set up in a hole and some guys would come in just, just right next to you and just uh, many different reasons, guys. But anyway, I ended up selling my duck boat uh, giving all my decoys away to to a cousin and uh, said I was done with it wasn't gonna do it anymore and uh, shortly after that whenever I picked up trapping so uh, and man I love this guys I love this trapping probably more so than the duck hunting but uh, try to get this thing without setting it off and getting the stick caught all right, there we go. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get this thing off here. You've seen me taking these down and what I do to put them up. Uh, so I'm going to get that done and uh, get over here and maybe still, I guess, still, still guess there's two more chances to have, to have these two beavers, guys. But I don't have much, much hope anymore. But uh, I'm gonna get this trap taken care of, and uh, and I'll check back in with you when we get over and check those two. All right, let's see. I believe I can see the. Not 100% sure yet, but I believe I can see that trap up there. Nope, trap's gone, guys. There's no trap right here. And now I do believe I see something floating here under the water. I'm excited, guys. Let's see what we got here. Yep, trap's gone. All right. Is it finally going to be that beaver? I sure do hope so. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at there, fellas. Look at there. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. Boy, I'm excited about that right there. You guys don't even know. And man, I tell you, be tickled pink if that other one's right there in that other trap. Definitely a two-year-old. So exactly what we was thinking. A pair of two-year-olds moved in here. Got him by a front foot catch as he was going up that, going up that trail to the top of that. To the top of that hut, guys. All right. Uh, get this thing, this rod put up here. Get that beaver laid in there. All right, fingers crossed, everybody. Everybody say a little prayer, cross your fingers. Give me all the luck you can. Let's see what we got. Can't tell anything yet. I find the, find the end of this rod here and I feel my slide mechanism so this trap's still up here. Still set, so nothing check this hole out. All right guys, I'll take it though. I'll take it for sure. So, Is it possible this one beaver's all that's in here? Man, I guess it I guess it could be. I guess it could be a bachelor and 
and be in here, but it's hard for me to it's hard for me to say that that's the case because of all the sign I've seen everywhere. Uh, you know, like I said, back during the winter, there was actually no sign in here at all, no fresh sign. And then there's, yeah, there's no doubt, no doubt one beaver could make all that. I mean, he don't have, he don't have anything to do all day and he's got all day to do it. So, I mean, he could be going all over the place chewing his sticks. And uh, I don't know, maybe it is just one beaver in here. I guess one way that I will know is uh, when I come back over here to set that drain, all I gotta do is go around the entire property, look around, and uh, if there's no fresh sign, I'll know that he was the only one that was in here. Uh, if there is, if there is fresh sign, then I'll know that I missed one or, or another one's moved back in. So, uh, good deal, that makes me happy this morning, guys. If that second, if there is still a second one in here, what's it gonna do now? Uh, I would say, I would say a heaven, a heaven like this, what this place is, it's going to, uh, gonna stay in here and wait for another. You know, I told you, I told you in an earlier video that beavers mate for life, and uh, and they do, guys. But I've I've heard it said that. Uh, if a beaver loses a partner, uh, that it will go ahead and pair back up with another beaver. So that may be the case. These are still young and dumb, so they don't really un they don't know all the rules yet. So who knows what it'll do? It may it may end up leaving the area completely, going somewhere else and finding more beaver, or it might be okay staying by itself here in this lake until uh, until we can get back over here and get it caught. But one thing's for sure, taking one beaver out of here is gonna is gonna save a lot of uh, is gonna help out a lot. So, uh, guys, that's it. Them traps are pulled. He's back up here to the truck and uh, hopefully calling it a wrap on uh, on season again. Uh, just some final thoughts, guys. As I'm walking out of here. I have I have thoroughly, truly enjoyed. Guys, I have I have truly thoroughly enjoyed uh, this YouTube journey that I decided to take back to first of the year, and I'll tell you guys why I did why I made that decision. One of them, well, I guess there's probably about three major reasons why I made that decision on the positive side, and one of the first ones is uh, the fact that I haven't been on a computer in about 12 years to do anything that that amounted to anything and uh, and I needed to uh, and I needed to learn how to use a computer again uh, I broke out my old equipment when I when I decided to do this turned it on and, and all of it was obsolete none of it worked I had to learn how to uh, completely operate had to go buy a new computer and I had to learn how to completely operate the system again because it was completely different than what I what I had used. And I and, and another thing about that, those first I don't know eight or ten videos that I posted, guys, you're lucky I even got or I'm lucky we even got to this point because I almost threw in a towel many a times. I was ready to throw in a towel and be done be done with it. I don't need to do YouTube videos. And just simply because I didn't know what I was doing, I was having to learn it, and that was aggravating. There were several times uh, when I wondered if it was worth it, but it was just a sheer will and determination. Oh man, I got deep all of a sudden. I think another step, I don't went over my waders right there. But uh, it was just sheer will and determination that I got through those first couple of videos. And, and figured out what I'm doing. And, and as I'm doing it now, I'm getting a lot quicker at it. I'm learning every time I do one. So that's one of the reasons, guys. The second reason is, uh, man, there's just nobody around me that traps. I have still yet in my trapping career, I've never been on another trapper's trap line. Uh, I'm self-taught. Just again, it was just determination that I, I was gonna do it, I was gonna learn it. I'm all self-taught, everything I've done is self-taught. 
and uh, going back to the computer use guys that's that, that's really all i used youtube for is to uh i used it like an old encyclopedia when i had a question or something i wanted to learn i'd type it in and i'd watch videos on that subject and that was my only youtube experience for all these years i had had no idea that being a uh content creator uh it's as cool as what it's been. I mean, man, there's a whole world of content creators out there, guys, and I've had tons of support from a bunch of them, and that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool feeling to uh, to get support from guys that are doing things that you're doing. So, so I like that. That's one thing that's made it fun. And then the third thing, guys, is uh, I've heard I've heard other people mention it in the past, and I just kind of kind of thought, yeah, that's probably right, and shrugged it off or whatever. But I'm uh, I see the wisdom in what they were saying now and that, and that I am leave, leaving a heck of a legacy for my for my daughter and my grandkids and my great grandkids. Who's to say that in 200 years, a, uh, uh, I guess I would be an ancestor at that point, but who's to say in 200 years, some of my family doesn't decide, hey, I wanna be a trapper. What does that involve? You know what, how cool is that? He's going to be able to go back and watch his great, 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 great grandpa out here trapping beaver and learn from me at that point in his life. How cool would it be to go back in our history and uh, and look at what our ancestors did and actually physically be able to see them and see their reactions and see their personality and see who they were. So that's the third reason, guys. But anyway, I've jabbered all the way back up here to the truck. Uh, just one last thought real quick if you're still with me if you made it through all that jabbering got you guys that have made this journey with me from day one and watched every single video this year on this trap line i thank you appreciate it uh you guys are what kept me going uh and and i feel like even even when i'm finished these videos are going to get a ton of uh, watches and uh I just feel like there's a lot of good information on there. So uh, thank you guys. And uh, I'm gonna get up here and I'm gonna get this fence fixed, get all this equipment loaded in the truck. And uh, we'll see you before too long. I'll get on here. I got some more plans. I'm just not gonna be able to do it every day like I have done it. Oh, another thing I thought of. Guys, you gotta tell me what you think too about this. Tell me. You guys follow me from day one, watching every day. I want to know, because I have, a, I have a suspicion that you guys are probably just excited as what I've been out here checking these traps. It's like Christmas morning, isn't it? Wanting to, man, there's just going to be something in there. You know, you almost can't sleep at night because you're so excited to get up the next morning and watch and see if there's any catches. And I feel like some of you probably had that, uh, that same experiences right along with me. Let me know if you did. I think that's pretty cool. And, uh, it's got to be better than real TV, right, guys? I mean, I didn't make you wait a whole week, a whole seven days to uh, see the next episode. You guys have been tagging along pretty, pretty dang near right along with me. Uh, sometimes I wasn't able to get the videos done, and it took a day or two, but uh, but uh, pretty much you guys are weren't but a day behind. So, so what I'm filming right now will be tomorrow morning. What's coming out? So, uh, anyway, guys, thanks again, for taking up enough of your time. Awesome morning. We finally got a beaver pulled a pull an otter and a beaver out of here now this beaver like i said earlier it, it, it won't be harvested for fur uh it's just just nuisance and uh and that's that's a wrap guys thanks a lot all right guys got everything loaded up in the truck right there back half i thought so you just got my waders off and here's the uh and right here is the uh evidence of the hole in my waders hopefully you guys will be able to see Tell the difference there. Imagine it. Yeah, I'm all the way wet. I can't see my back, but I feel like my whole butt's wet. <laughs> Definitely got to get those holes fixed. And that's something I go through, guys. I I bought this pair of waders brand new right at the beginning of the season, and I'm I feel lucky that I made it all the way to the end of the same pair of waders. To be truthful with you, uh, it's one thing I hadn't been able to find. So if you guys know of a good heavy duty uh waders made for trappers and i've tried all kinds of different stuff guys and I, I just these right here 
or actually uh, I decided this year not to spend a whole lot of money on waders and these are cheap neoprene waders that I ordered and these have probably been my best waders I've had in a long time they've lasted the longest so uh, that's probably what I'm gonna go with if I buy new ones I'll probably go with the same brand cheaper just not put a lot of money in it because it doesn't matter I bought the most expensive and I bought the cheapest and uh, as of right now for me the cheapest have outranked it so anyway just just that thought come to mind and want to share it guys